stop getting mad. Y'all paved the way. Y'all made this shit possible. This is what it was for. All that hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, and now kids is blowing up and living this life that ultimately you made possible. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Real Spill with Kimberly TV, where everything is real and everything gets spilled. In this episode, we will be talking about the beef between Nicki Minaj and Miss Mulatto and all the outsiders. <laughs> We gonna talk about now, it. Now we gotta get into it. For one, I'm crusty. If y'all didn't see that vlog, this might come out before that vlog. But I went out with my mom today. I'm tired. It's late. But I just couldn't let this day go without talking about it. Because the famous girls is not famous girls. And my biggest thing is when you're famous, be famous. Stop arguing. But the famous girls just arguing amongst themselves. They're not arguing with the pedestrians these days. So... This is allegedly what happened. I'm going to wrap it up all in a nutshell. I'll post the receipts here because I'm not going to. I'm not a drama tea page. I'm giving my review. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. Hashtag Real Spill with Kimberly TV. Here we go. So, what I've gathered from this is the girls, all the girls, are upset that Mulatto won a war for Big Big Energy. And... Not everybody want to tussle. Kodak mad, calling her a mutt and a latte. Which, one thing, about, let me make it clear. I do not not like none of these people. I like Mulata. I went to her concert. Have I ever went to a Nicki Minaj concert? No. Am I am I a Nicki fan? Am I a Nicki fan? Fall up in the street locker. It's like, no, but I, I, you know, neither one of these people, if, if I had to say as of today, who I was more of a fan of, it would definitely be Mulatto. I've never went through my fangirl Nicki Minaj days, like, you know, like a lot of kids went through Nicki Minaj. But I got Nicki Minaj perfume. I like her. She's cool. But I just feel like, 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 she cool. Don't get me wrong. She cool. She paved the way for all the, 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 the girl rappers right now. She started all the crazy looks that people do every day now. She started everything. She made the way for a lot of shit. So don't get me wrong. I, 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 I give her her flowers. She can have all the flowers, okay? All the flowers, because she set it up. But the thing that I'm not getting with is now that she paved the way, she's mad that other artists don't have to struggle the same way that she did. People are saying that she shouldn't be, that Mulatto should not be compared to her, or any artist for that matter should not be compared to her, and saying, and then some people are saying she's airing it for that, and then some people, that's Mocha, y'all know Mocha, La, at, uh, follow her at the Mocha Latte one. But, um, no, mama, Nuno's filming, bye bye. Um, they're saying that she shouldn't, um, that nobody should be compared to her, and because of at all the years that she's put in, and I just think that's simply the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Mulatto is good, granted. They can both be good and they can be compared. They're both female rappers. So that it's always room. It's just like somebody singing. So it's just like Chloe Bailey and Halle Bailey being compared to Beyonce for every little thing they do because uh, I may be wrong, but I think that Beyonce is the one who basically gave them their flowers and put them on or acknowledged their video of them singing a long time ago and explaining guitars and la la la. So everybody compares them. And people may feel like they didn't put in enough work for that to even be compared to Beyonce. But since Beyonce is the singer that helped them, it's on. And it could be, it's two different scenarios, but it's the same exact thing. They're smaller, way smaller, and they're newer. Way newer than Beyonce, who've been around for the last, I don't know how many years. How many movies, how many this, how many that, how many songs, how many videos, how many dance moves, how many choreography, how many shows, how many everything. Halle Bailey and Chloe Bailey combined haven't did as much as she did, but they're still compared to her because they're female singers. Whether she put them on or not, they're still female singers. They're all like, oh, she sing beautiful. She remind me of Beyonce just because she is a singer. So if somebody hear Mulatto and they like, oh, Mulatto like Nicki Minaj, it's normal. It's normal. It's just because that, in, 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 in hindsight, it's a good thing because... No matter who comes up next, they're always going to think about Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj trying to argue with Mulatto and the whole rapist thing is bizarre. Because you so rich, you got you a husband, you got you a baby, and she, I thought she retired.
tired initially when she was gone having her baby. But when she came back, I was like, shoot, might as well make that money because you still got your fan bases, you still got everything. But now it's like you not like everybody is just not fan over you. It's other girls that fan over now. And honestly, really? Honestly, it's not a lot of good female rappers out here. It's only a couple. So you really don't got that much competition. You really don't have competition because your shit is already set. These people now can be like made or brave. Since you have so many years into this, it's harder to cancel you. If Mulatto go off and do something right now, she might get canceled. She might actually get Hume canceled because she just started. She only have a couple years worth of fan base. You get what I'm saying? Compared to your 20 years. So you really shouldn't even feel no type of way. But the fact that she's so intimidated, so to speak, and want to argue with her. And they said, oh, because she put in so Super Peach. I follow Super Peach. Super Peach, you a funny motherfucker. You're funny. Do I listen to your music? No. Did I see you in the rap game? I loved you in the rap game because I was like, she has, it's her own person. She has her own personality. She got her own shit going on. She ain't going to fuck with nobody think. And I am that exact type of person. So I definitely like her in that aspect. Can I tell you one song she ever made in my life? I swear to God, I have never listened to her music. I never would type her music in. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in her as a person. So I follow you. I'm not going to stream your music. I'm not going to buy your music. Do I listen to my auto music? Yes. Have I listened to Nicki Minaj? Yes. Yes. In all the, the features she's coming out on and all this. Yes. Will I listen to Super Peach? No. I wouldn't think to look her up, but I like her individual as a person. And that's good enough because that make her money. Anything I look at is going to make her money. I say all this to say that I like all these people, but her getting in there to say something about Mulatto aggravated me. And it made me feel like you want to be in that same topic. Like you want to get, you want to just be like, uh, sprinkle some salt in so somebody look at you. This is not the rap game 82, 3,000 years ago. Mulatto is, Mulatto is here. Super Peach is still, Super Peach is famous on Instagram. Super Peach not touring. Super Peach making music, but she's, she, she, she is Super Peach. She not a mulatto. And the, the beef that she is trying to hold on to, and people keep saying, she like, I know y'all not trying to say that I'm mad and, I, and I'm still beefing. I'm still beefing with her over the rap game. I beat her up. And then people try to jump me. I don't know how true that is. If she beat her up, she probably did because I didn't see Super Peach fight. Uh, one time she posted in that school and she was whooping hell out that girl in the public school. She was always going to go to public school. So I didn't, I can see it. But you bring that up now at this big age that y'all are. I mean, I guess they a few years older. They still, it's Super Peach not even 20. Mulatto like 20 something. Super Peach not 20. She 19, I believe. But maybe that's why she bring it up. But it's stupid. She just want to be somewhere in the blogs because... You bringing your beef up and saying, oh, yeah, Nicki Minaj, just Nicki Minaj, that the queen spoke, all that shit. The queen shouldn't have spoke because the queen is the queen. The queen need the queen and go sit the fuck down. Not trying to argue with the peasant, so to speak. Not saying Mulatto is a peasant because, like I said, I like her. But the queen needs to know that she a queen and she need to act as such. Queens don't argue if they feel threatened. They don't say a goddamn thing because they let the, they let they, what's her, the, uh, what's her, how? The Barbie high, what's it? The Barbie crew? The Barbs. The Barbs. The Barbs to be eating mulatto ass up because that's what queens do. The queens, underdogs, handle the work. You don't handle the work. You don't, if you're the queen, you don't step off your pedestal to argue with the peasants. When the fuck have they ever did that? When have they did that? When? Like I said, I don't feel like Nicki Minaj should have ever came back after she had her baby. I feel like she should have stayed at home, been rich, and lived her life. But like I said, that money probably just so easy. She probably charging these motherfuckers whatever the fuck she feel because she the queen. She come in here, I want half a million for a video. And they giving it to her ass because of all the work, hard work she had did. And I'm not saying she too old or anything like that. You know, whatever she do, she do because she still make good music. But all I'm saying is, you, I know she's too old to be arguing. To argue with Mulatto. Art for what? And then Mulatto was like, well, I, I get... At first, Mulatto was trying to be nice. She was trying to be like, well, I get this. I get that. I DM'd you. I sent you records. Gave you I get flowers. And you to hear that. And then the fact... The fact that Nicki Minaj tried to bring up... She tried to bring up the person who produced Big Energy. Y'all might hear my be right I'm in land. Mind your business. Judge your mom, don't judge me. 
she tried to bring up the fact that the person that produced Big Big Energy is a rapist or she kept saying, I've never raped somebody. And then Mulatto said, you married to a rapist. Because let's not forget Mr. Kenner. <laughs> let's not forget him. Because he was on trial for a long time until this lady came out and people still saying they pay her off. I don't know how true that is. I'm not putting rape on no man, but I'm just saying. Ever since it came out, they've been thinking, they've been saying he was a rapist. It just now got clear. And she came out with a video saying she lied. But we still don't, we don't know what's true. Because we wasn't there when he raped her and we wasn't there when this motherfucker made it. We don't know what's going on or not. But your man been a uh, known rapist since you married him. And you trying to say, oh, I've never worked for a rapist. But you have sex with a rapist. Allegedly. 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 So, that was ridiculous. And then she said, well, Mulatto, your mama how old and your daddy how old? Your daddy was a rapist. But she said your mama was 16, 17. I don't know what the age difference between that mama and that daddy, but I know that Mulatto said her mama was fast and hot in the twat because her mama had her at 15. So her mama probably was doing something she shouldn't have been doing. So everybody raping everybody, everybody doing this. But is that really... I could be being... It's rape, period. If he was over, what, 18, 19, having sex with a 15 year old, that's statutory rape. But they've been together for how long and ain't no charges been filed, but you're a man. They said somebody that you, that, that, that he pinned somebody down and raped them. So that's rape, rape. That's not the law rape. That's rape, rape. So you shouldn't have even brought up anybody saying rape, but whatever. But it's all stupid. And it's all stupid. And, and, and saying mulatto is a mutt, and this, that, and the third. And maybe it's not everything that's happened is not on the blogs. But from what I can see is they really mad at her. From what I can see, it's like they really mad at Mulatto. And I'm not really liking that. Like, the mutt thing, I guess she is mixed. But who really not? <laughs> who not mixed? Nicki Minaj was trying to say she spray tanned and all this. Let me see if she black. She Trinidadian. So you trying to say she spray tan, you ain't fully black either. She is American and Trinidadian, not African American. So all y'all really mutts, so to speak. All y'all, none of y'all is African American talking junk. So it's just all like weird. And that just goes to show that no matter how old you get, that don't mean that you are not Jealous. Oh, and this is the point I wanted to make. This is the main point I wanted to make. Just because you had to go through all that you had to go through, which we understand, you paved the way. That don't mean everybody else got to go through that. I don't know where they said that. And of course you might be pissed off. Because I had to go through all this and this little bitch just come up and make it. That's basically how she feeling. And I understand that. But this is 2022. You, the shit. I got over 330 videos on YouTube. And I'm not a fucking millionaire. And I see all these little bitches with a BBL post one video and blow the fuck up. Do you hear me? And I be in my head like I put out good content. I do this the right way. I had to. Blood, sweat, and tears. I didn't just get a handout. Some people just fuck it and get to the top. It's a lot of different things going on these days. And I get mad. But am I going to go argue with every single one of them? No. And if I was as rich as you, I wouldn't even be looking at these hoes. So get your shit together. And that is basically all I wanted to say. It's a new day and age. All the older people, old heads, stop getting mad. Y'all paved the way. Y'all made this shit possible. This is what it was for. All that hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, and now kids is blowing up and living this life that ultimately you made possible. Okay? So fuck them. Be rich. Learn how to be rich and learn how to be famous and stay in your fucking penthouse, in your fucking mansion with seven pools in the back and live your life. Blow all your money. Live your best life. That's all I have to say on this topic. Stay tuned for more uh, episodes of Real Spiel with Kimberly TV my podcast if you haven't already be sure to like comment subscribe to kimberly television follow if you see this on my instagram at gorgeous underscore dot kim follow my boutique at the get a boutique d a ghetto 
Boutique LLC and follow Mocha who made her guest appearance at the Mocha Latte one. This concludes this episode of Real Spill with Kimberly TV where everything is real and everything gets spilled. And until next time, I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys. I am out and I can't wait to be boo boo back again. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,